So this is the first of two elevator rides that these guys will be partaking <laughs> in today. The That's second, funny. of course, being the elevator ride to um, the almost the top of the um, the the structure next to the launch pad. And we will see the crew uh, walk out in just a moment. But first, we want to hear a performance of America the Beautiful by preeminent jazz and classical saxophonist, composer, band leader, and three-time Grammy winner Branford Mars. Crew walk out in progress on schedule. So that was a beautiful performance we just heard from three-time Grammy winner Branford Marsalis of America the Beautiful. Uh, and we can see some members of uh, the closeout team heading out of the operations and checkout building. We expect the crew to walk out at T minus three hours and 20 minutes. So about a minute from now, we will see the crew uh, walk out those famed doors and you can see above them they're teeny tiny from where we're looking, but uh, stickers from past mission patches. And Tracy, I'm sure you have a sticker up there. Yes, <laughs> yes. From STS 118, one of uh, my crewmates uh, made sure that we were well represented. There I love on the, the traditions that we have in spaceflight. And, <laughs> um, and I love that we are getting to continue that tradition with stickers uh, for these NASA SpaceX missions. You can actually see... I believe it's on the right-hand side of the meatball located above the doors. I believe that's where um, the crews for Demo 2 and Crew 1 placed their stickers. We're going to have to widen the walkway here, I think, <laughs> get a little bit. Yeah. And there we have another shot of more stickers. Uh, <laughs> and these stickers denote the missions in which the Teslas were utilized for. Uh, so here, counting backwards from the right, the red one is obviously the Crew 2 mission patch. The blue dragon to the left of that being Crew 1. The white helmet from Demo 2 and then the triangular patch from Demo 1. So um, even though we didn't have any real astronauts, we had Ripley, our, our test subject, um, but we did do full mock-up. And here they come, the Crew 2 astronauts taking their first steps outside before their journey to space. I love this moment. They're now going to have the opportunity to wave goodbye from a safe distance. Um, the distance is normal protocol uh, for, for space flight. This is not a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. This would be in place even if, if, that, even if we didn't have that situation going on. Um, but I love this moment. It's, it's a wonderful opportunity to see the astronauts get some final farewells from their friends and family members. And we've got Shane and Megan to the right of your screen, Toma and Aki to the left. Shane and his wife posing for a socially distanced photo. Yes. 
And it looks like Bob Benkin is there in a blue polo with uh, the son of he and Megan MacArthur. Yeah, there's a better shot of Bob, Megan, and their son. What an experience as their son to yeah. do this twice. <laughs> Get to see dad and mom go to space. He's going to think this is normal. The yeah. way <laughs> All kids experience. And you can see on the license plate of that Tesla, Recycle. Um, you can't see it from this shot, but the other two Teslas in this convoy have reduce and reuse. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So the first one is cool. reduce, the second one is reuse, and this one is recycle. <laughs> A nod there again to Earth Day, uh, the originally uh, planned date for launch. See those Tesla doors uh, starting to close now. Like I mentioned before, the equipment is already in the Tesla. The astronauts are plugged into that small blue box and they're getting that cool air flowing through their suits once again. Uh, and the AC is turned up on high <laughs> in those Teslas to make sure everybody's comfy. Now you've seen some people go around to the backside of the cars. As, um, this is a, another opportunity uh, for family members to approach and have a little bit more private moment um, with their crew member before they leave. With the windows up, of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how meaningful this is for crew to have this opportunity to see their loved one uh, this close to uh, heading out to the pad. This is, this is a nice change that we've made. And this is the car carrying uh, Shane Kimbrough on the right uh, rear passenger side and Megan MacArthur is on the left rear passenger side. And then this uh, back, the third Tesla in the convoy here with the recycle license plate uh, has Toma sitting on the back rear side and Aki sitting on the left rear side. And as soon as the families come back around, we should see the convoy begin to pull away. Right on schedule. We love you. I love you too, brother. ONC departure on schedule. All right, so we just heard that announcement that the crew has departed the operations and checkout building on schedule. They are now on their way to launch complex 39A, scheduled to lift off at 5.49 a.m. Eastern time this morning. Uh, it will be about a 15 minute drive with a full security escort across NASA's Kennedy Space Center and out to the launch pad. And as we follow the convoy, we'd like to share some words from the teams working so hard day and night to get this crew to the International Space